How are you more, doing? You're more awake than I am. <laughs> uh, <laughs> heading to work, so really good. You know how that goes. Yes. <sighs> Sorry for you. Nah, it doesn't bother me at all. I love my job. You might want to reverse something go out the way you just came in. Okay. Did that, go reason, the, huh? did that go the wrong way? or? No, 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 not at all. It's just this one, if you go out this one, it doesn't let you turn that way. Ah, yeah, you don't Which is to. stupid. <laughs> I was like, whoever designed this freaking parking lot was just, God, no. The, the city likes to put those oh, yeah. wow. concrete things in places where people need to turn all the time. I agree with you, yeah. See, see the city loves to screw with people. And they haven't figured out how to go out there with the concrete to remove yep. a chunk. <laughs> oh, gosh. But thank you for turning that little follow me thing on. That is oh, so yeah. nice. I've had it on since they had the option, and the reason why is it makes it easier for you guys to find me. Yeah, a lot of people, oh no, I don't want them spying on me, really? Yeah. And don't well, complain when you get the wrong location. <laughs> well, the reason why some people don't turn it on is because what they'll do is they'll try to cheat, uh, they'll try to cheat the system. So, all right, let's say there's a surge in my area right here. Mm -hmm. So I'll give you an address down the street that's outside of the surge, and then text you, oh, I'm sorry, for some reason it wouldn't, Stupid, but people do it. But yeah, I don't know why. But, but there's people that won't do it when it's non-searching either. Yeah, it's people are just dumb. I mean, <laughs> it, it just. I, I was an information system technologist for ten plus years. The government, if they want to spy on you, they they're can spy already on there. You yeah. <laughs> Your cell phone has more tracking devices in it than you will ever know. You're an idiot. <laughs> You'd you know. be surprised how much of this I deal with daily. Oh, great. I'll give you a hint. Why? Oh, I'm scared now. <laughs> oh, nice. I do aerial photography. Drones, yep. Yeah. Oh, nice. yep. <laughs> <sighs> I got to play with drones before drones were a thing. Uh, oh my god, does that just... Yeah, Most right. people like them. Because they come out and say, oh, that's cool. They are. They're fascinated by it. They want to see what it does. And this. Yeah. But there's always one where if there's a group of people going, you're spying on me. Yeah, that's, that's typical. It's um, like, I'm sorry, but I hate to tell you, you are not that interesting. Exactly. And they don't understand that. So, nah. I got a, guy, a buddy of mine, he just actually got the permit to take a drone through the Grand Canyon. Oh, that's nice. And I guess it's a permit. You have to get a permit to do this. Yes. And he gets the permit, he goes down there, and he flew that thing, and he just got shots of everything. I'm like, God. <laughs> this is a little much. He's like, yeah, well, here's the thing. If I have any bad shots in there, oh well. If I have good shots, great. I'm like, oh, you're an idiot, but okay, I love it. And he's just, he's slowly posting them on Facebook as he goes through them, and it's just like, it's hours and hours of video and pictures. And I'm like, wow. Um, I used to work in uh, Washington, D.C. when I was uh, in the Navy, and we actually had drones now, here's the funny thing. Did you know there's drones around the White House at all times? Oh, I can almost believe they are. Yeah. They're just way, way, way up. Yes. They're, they're the high sonic ones and stuff like that. Yeah. We have armed drones. We have all kinds of armed drones. Oh, yeah. <sighs> yeah. The fun that we dealt with. But, um, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I just kind of remember half the stuff. Saw half the actual hidden stuff inside the you know nation's capital. Like when you go on a White House tour, did you know every single moment, every single turn, you ever sniper bullet on you? On oh, or a sniper laser? What a surprise! Me. Yeah, I was like, I got you. Oh, yeah. If you want to trigger something, yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Makes sense. Like, yeah. It, it's just it's crazy. Oh. The Oval Office, there's, um, between the walls, there's, like, drywall on top of steel. It's, like, eight, eight foot of steel around that room. I'm like, but it's got a window. What's the point?
are you doing that? Well, that's a bulletproof window. Well, it's kind of like if you pay attention to the the car they get into. Oh. You know, everyone's like, well, yeah, look at the thickness of that door and that window. It's almost a foot thick. It's not a regular car. Those cars can be hit with anything up to an atomic missile and still survive. Did you, you see it when they roll that window down and stick that hand out the few times they allow it. Yeah. Thick shade thick. Yup. It is insanity. And the glasses are... It's a triple layer. Yeah. What it is. It, it's just not done. I've been in those cars. I've been in uh, Air Force. I've been in Air Force One. I've been on uh, Marine One. I've been on all six Marine ones. Um, I've been in the uh, motorcade with him a few times. I, I was uh, there with Bush Junior. The guy was an idiot, but <laughs> damn, did he know how to get some good reps. There you go. I'll tell you, I'm in Camp David. That sucks. <laughs> Camp David has a horrible rule for all military members. You're not allowed to drink. You're not allowed to smoke. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no. Not allowed to have any fun. No, no, it's not good at all. I'm not, you, oh my god. I was a smoker for quite a few years by that time. I was like, I think I've been smoking for a few years. Um, and I got to my first duty station and I'm like, I can't smoke. When we go to these places, are you kidding me? Meanwhile, he would invite senators up, and him and the senators would be smoking, and they're smoking cigars, yeah. drinking high-end liquor, playing pool. Of course. Oh my god, oh my god, this sucks. But I actually knew George pretty well. I actually got, you know, he, was, he gave me my first name. He said, David, hey, what's up? You know, I, I showed him a few uh, tricks that I knew on pool tables, and he's like, Next time I have the boys up, you're, you're coming on my side. I was like, uh, okay. Does that mean I get to smoke a cigar and drink some, you know, scotch with you and stuff? He's like, sure, why not? I'm like, because my command would freaking go ballistic and fire me. He's like, I'll take care of it. <laughs> he got, talks to the guy that's in command, which there's like one person above me and uh, came to him. He goes, I'm having a uh, petty officer bitch ping with me tonight for da 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 da. I'm like, he's like, he is allowed to do whatever I tell you, know, whatever. Well, where he's there, he's basically off duty. Well, sir, that's fine. He's he can be off duty all he wants, but he can't smoke a cigarette. He can't drink any alcohol. It's it's against our rules here. He goes, well, I'm the one that sets the rules. Deal with it. So that night, we get to, we get to playing pool, and um, I have this one trick shot where I can hit the uh, off the break and drop the ball. Nice. My brother and me practiced it for years. And I'll say about eh, seven out of ten times I can hit it. Okay? So I mean, I'm not perfect, but I'm, I'm pretty good at it. I hit the rack, bam, eight ball spins in, bam. I was like, well, I guess that's one win for us. The two senators are standing there going, you can't do that again, there's no way, boy. Alright, we rack them up. Whack! Eight ball flies right in. So of course, then they're like, "Okay, stop doing that. Let, let's actually play a real game." I'm like, "Okay, cool." Hit the brake, brake. I dropped uh, one of the stripes, cleared the stripes, looked at him, going, "Okay, you guys still want to play?" Not a single person's got to shoot except for me. But it was like, "You're a shark, aren't you?" I'm like, "No, I just know how to play pool. I'm a shark. I straight up told you I know how to play pool." Now, a shark would let you win a few games, and then... Yes. yes. He's like, true. And George is just sitting there smiling from freaking ear to ear. He's like, these boys beat me last time they were here. Well, they ain't beating me this time. Sure enough, every single time those two boys came up, i get pulled into the uh, pool hall. They'd be like, oh, God, you again? I'm like, eh, I can't help it. Yeah. He's my boss. <laughs> hey, it tells me what to do. Well, I'm just following the uh, orders. Um, I've actually got to meet every standing or every sitting president since Reagan. I actually got to meet Reagan. He was a really nice guy. He was before the Alzheimer's, you know, really ate the rest of his brain. But yeah, really good guy. And his wife, wow, really regal woman. I swear she could have been a freaking queen. And people would have fallen for it. <laughs> oh god. I'm trying to think of anything else that I did really cool in military. Just lots. <laughs> when you work up there and you deal with people like that all day long, 
out there. Because, God forbid. Hey, what are you doing looking at your phone? Uh, nothing. <laughs> that's why I just have one ear, one knee, one hand on it. Just listen yeah. to a book because I'm running my tests. Because that's all I do is calibrate. It's an easy peasy fun job. joking when I say that I've actually seen like two or three people that have come down here and their car can't get up the hill. Really? Yes. I don't know why. Or they'll chug. Their car will be chugging to get up the hill. They need to seriously uh, tune it up or yeah, yeah. upgrade. Is there something not running right? It, yeah, I agree with you. Uh, one of them was my co-worker. His car, well, I know why his car was doing it. His car was dying. Of course, he was coming to work one day and he hit four deer. Now it's dead. <laughs> well, that might have been a good thing. Yeah, it was. I was like, yeah, you were driving this car until it died. He's like, well, it died. <laughs> Sometimes, yep. Just need to put them out of their misery. Yep. I usually do that to every car I've owned. <laughs> Drive it to the wheels drop. Yeah. Works out really well. <laughs> yeah, I want to make sure I get my money's worth. You know, anymore it's kind of hard to tell if you actually get your money's worth on a vehicle. You know? Yeah, not necessarily since I never owe when I buy them. There you go. I buy them cash. Day I get them off the lot. Tell a lot of people, well, you do it wrong. It's like, no, I saved the money in advance. You're making payments, giving someone else the interest money while I'm dashing it into the bank until I have the money to buy it. Yeah, exactly. Smart way of doing it. I uh, was thinking about buying a car, you know, buying another car because I have a car at the house and the only reason I don't drive is I take medication. So, this it works great for me. Well, I'm glad you like it. I don't have to drive and for two, I get to, you know, wake up in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, and because of my medication, I don't, you know, I, I stopped driving and the fiance is like, well, why don't we get rid of the car? I was like, well, we need the car just in case for emergencies. But recently I've been like, eh, I think I need to get a new car. This one, right? Yeah, it's this one. So, man, don't go towards the security gate, just go straight to the back lot. Let's see what I'm talking about. Just go straight this way. Yep. Don't want to go over there. They're jerks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the amount of paperwork I had to do with security was not fun. And it was my fault. Which I don't understand how it was my fault. I was like, but, but, but what? You guys were the ones that had the gate open. How is that my fault? Pretty much. Yeah, that, that's, that's typical caterpillar. And they put a brand speed bump here. Mm, I'm too late to use a turn. <laughs> They've got one there and then one right up here by the stop sign. Alright, now to get out of here, I don't know if you've ever seen this, but you hit that gate right, uh, that fence right there and follow it back the road you just came in. Okay. I've had actually a number driver drive around here for like five minutes because they didn't know how to get out. <laughs> like I hey, said, not all of us are. I didn't should say, be drivers. I didn't say you were a bad driver, I didn't say you wouldn't you wouldn't have known that, but I've actually had people that don't understand that that's how that works. You know? <laughs> Thank you, sir. You have a great night. You too.